All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Bahashem, Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and who rule well to peace and salutations to the Akim and hopefully make that pushing this truth and sincerity and honesty by the brother Shemayim and I know, buddy. And we just came through, you know, through the spirit to, uh, you know, we were having a spiritual conversation going into how, you know, the people of this world, you know, those that are, uh, you know, they're, they're not in the know. They don't have the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Bashan al Shai. They don't have the prophecies or the mysteries or the scriptures. You know, these people in the world, they don't know that uh, all hell is about to break loose, man. These people are living their life as this, this world is going to continue to go. Like, they really don't believe that America is about to be cut short, man. All right, here they are. They, they, these people in the world, they, they worried about, oh, uh, they looking forward to the PlayStation 5 coming out. All right, they looking forward to, um, you know, uh, this, this, uh, this world entering to the future. They think that the future is going to be like the Jetsons. You know, this is what these people are holding on to, to, uh, that's why they're, they're continuing to live their everyday life. They're continuing to be demons and being wicked. Because they don't see no pending uh, danger, you know, uh, uh, creeping around the corner. They don't see that pending danger. And if they did see that pending danger, they would want to try to change their ways, but they don't see it. The Most High didn't give them the vision to see that this place is about to, uh, all hell is about to break loose any moment. All right. And, and therefore, they can't see that. So they're setting their ways to continue to live like they're living, or right? continuing to be demons, continuing to be wicked. You know, and uh, did you want to add on to that? I... Yeah, Khan, they uh, <clears throat> they they don't see the the danger that's coming. You know, so they just want to continue. Mm -hmm. They want to continue in their their wickedness, their folly, and, and you know, and, and act as if that is as if nothing is nothing's coming to this place. Yep. And could you get um, Amos the ninth chapter? Come on. Yep, because uh, the Lord, you know, his chosen people were you so-called black, Latinos, and Native Indians. All right, we are uh, the, 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 the nation of Israel, which makes us the 12 tribes, you know. And therefore, the Most High, he, he punishes the nation of Israel harder than he punishes these other nations because, you know, we are to know better, all right? We, we are uh, the, the Lord, you know, he, we are his chosen nation, yet... In these last days, it's been prophesied, it was written that two-thirds of Israel were too far gone, that they're going to love this world more than they love Jehovah Hashem al Shai. all right? So, therefore, the Lord is going to uh, send Jacob's trouble. Jacob, meaning uh, his, his name was changed to Israel. So, trouble for you Israelites, all right? Because you, you Israelites are living too comfortably in this place, just like you, you, uh, you know, uh, Israel wanted to go back to Egypt because it was, com it was comfortable for them. All right. You know, you, you, two thirds of Israel is comfortable in this modern day Egypt. All right. You don't want to face the truth. All right. You don't want to, uh, you know, face reality that this place is not going to last, man. Therefore, you're living in, in, uh, and what's that word I'm looking for? You're living in, uh, uh, uh delusion or, uh, yeah, in a delusion. And then there's another one for it. Oh, the, the, uh, oh, damn. It was right there, too. Uh, uh, it, it, had, it was in my mind, but the spiritual demon Satan, you know, he be trying to take the thoughts, you know. Oh. But, you know, you're you're pretty much uh, living a lie, you know. Yeah. You're, you're living in, uh, oh. <laughs> dang, I, I forgot the word for it, but, you know, Lord's will to come back up. Yeah. But yeah, man, you you know you you uh, you don't want to face the, the the facts, man. All right. So so therefore, that punishment is not going to disappear just because you you choose to ignore it. All right. Here here we have that uh, that that um, that uh, that joint. Uh, what, what was it? That military 
Oh, the you know, drill. Yeah, the drill. You want to harp in on that, right? Yeah, Con. So he had this drill the other day, uh, so called drill in, in, in Los Angeles, you know, and the uh, mm-hmm. and it just, just came out of nowhere. You know, they didn't even warn warn the people. They just, uh, one dude said that they couldn't even stand in their window because it felt like mm-hmm. they was going to get blown up. You know, and they uh, they came unannounced, you know, and, and uh, the people was all scared and all that. But, you know, they all they had to say was, oh, it was, it was a drill, you know. To, uh, now all, everything is, is supposed to be cool, you know. But what they don't mm-hmm. know is that's, uh, you know, they're, they're, they were just getting a practice. Well, you got to practice doing that, you know, in our neighborhood, you know. They just getting practice, you know, getting ready for uh, the real uh, no drill, you know. Yeah. The real, the real, uh, cause like, he saw, he knows exactly what he's doing, man. Like, they, they did that without, uh, without warning the citizens because they wanted to see how the reaction would be. Wow. And then they'll be like, nah, nah, it was just a drill, it was just a drill, you know, yet nobody knew what was going on. They wanted to see the reaction. And, and the, the reaction was people were terrified, they were afraid, right? And that's exactly what he saw once. He needs, so when when they do when they do that next that next you know exercise which it ain't gonna be a drill it's just gonna be all out martial law, all right? They're uh, they're not gonna do it announced. They're not gonna announce it. You see? So this was all from Esau. And guess what? I found that word through spirit. You know that term. It's called uh, living in denial. Yes. Yeah. All right. And you you Babylonians are living in denial. You guys are under a heavy heavy delusion, all right? And it says, uh, living in desire, what, is, what does it mean to live in denial? It says, most times it is easy to deny truth when it hurts. Denial means trying to hold on to your own perceptions of reality when, in fact, you are avoiding the truth, all right? And that's what two-thirds of Israel are doing. They are avoiding the truth. That's why they go to these different uh, soothsayers, like the Christian church, the Roman Catholic church, or they go to these different false idols, or oh, these different, uh, yep, and then they're, they're denying the truth, man, all right? They go to the Jehovah Wickedness, all right? or they'll go to these different pseudo-Israelite groups like IUIC, and they'll tell you that, oh, you ain't going to, Jacob's trouble ain't going to happen. They'll tell you those lies. All right, all, all calamity, you ain't got to worry about that. Just keep the law. All right, which we know that the, that's not the truth. All right, we know that the just shall live by faith. All right, because in this captivity, it's impossible to keep the laws to the fullest of, to 100%. All right, so therefore, we have to follow the laws to the best of, of our ability. And with all, we have to be in the spirit of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. All right, and have faith. Because that's what's going to uh, get us delivered by our works and by our faith. Yet, these other groups ain't going to tell you that, all right? And that's what two-thirds of Israel, they go to these these different uh, pseudo-Israelite groups that the Lord has set up, you know, for two-thirds. And and they get they get rocked back to sleep, man. All right? They, 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 that, the denial they, it, it's getting stronger for them, all right? They're holding on to uh, to avoiding the truth, man. And that's why, because you get that Bible Kishore in Amos 9 where it says, um, you know, uh, all the sinners of my uh, people. Yeah, yeah, all the sinners of my people. There's uh, Amos nine and ten. All the mm-hmm. sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Yep. And what is the Lord's sword? The Lord's sword is Esau, the so-called white man. All right, which that sword is being furbished. All right, that it make a sword slaughter, slaughter. That's talking about the martial law troops. All right, which Esau, he's going to use his blessing, which is his military, his technology, and his weaponry, all right? And he's going to, and, and, and it says two-thirds of Israel is going to die by the sword. Continue on. Which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Yep, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. All right, so they think that them even poor, you know, constantly getting lineups, you know, lining up, they uh, getting the the, uh, the the box, you know, the edge edge up 360 degree, you know, uh, you know, try to get the angles, and then they they line up and they line up their beard, they mar the corners of their beard, they try to get the Jake beard, 
uh, the uh, the Drake beard, you know. The Lord, the Lord is gonna kill you, man. All right, you know you an Israelite, yet you're still transgressing the word of Yahweh Shemal Shai. You know, you you know you you an Israelite, and then uh, you you knowing that you're an Israelite, you're gonna get a worse punishment than a nigga that just don't even know what's going on. All right, the niggas that are out there in the world. <laughs> so, uh, that, that you pretty much say that the evil shall not overtake no prevention. You you think that nothing's gonna happen, pretty much. You know, that you ain't gonna get judged for it, and that you ain't gonna, you know, and nothing bad gonna happen to you. You know, constantly eating pork. Do you want to add anything? I, oh no, I had another precept similar to that. Uh, uh, this Ezekiel 12 and 27. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. Mm -hmm. And he prophesied of the times that are far off. Therefore, say unto them, thus saith the Lord power, there shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the yep. word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord power. So once again, you know, <clears throat> the, the our people, two thirds of our people is like, you know, oh, what 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 they say, you know, is it ain't that ain't no time coming soon, you know, just like the uh, martial law, you know, prophesying on martial law, and say, oh, that ain't coming no time soon. Now now it's right in their face, you know, and uh, the spirit that's probably gonna happen in a lot more cities, just just out of nowhere, you know, Esau just gonna uh, come in just out of nowhere unannounced, you know, and then they mm -hmm. they're just gonna say, oh. It was a drill, you know, and then the people are just going to uh, accept it, just like they did. Yep. yep, continue to be passive about the situation. Gone. And then they're going to end up in the FEMA camp. <laughs> Gone. Yo. Hey, could you get that out in uh, Second Thessalonians 5? Yeah. And they shall say peace and safety. <laughs> yeah, this first... First Thessalonians five and three, for when they shall, uh, you know what, the spirit, I should start off at the top. Uh, uh. There's a First Thessalonians five and one, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that are right unto you. Yep, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, why? Why? Because the Lord already gave the mysteries and the prophecies, which the prophecies. All right, are the things that are going to happen. All right, we we know the things that are going to happen before it happens. Why? Because the Lord has given us the mystery. All right, through grace and in, in the uh, the mercy of Yah by Shema Shai. You know, that's why uh, you know we can see into the future pretty much. We can see we have that uh, that foresight. You know, and uh, we can see according to the scriptures because you you have to measure the times that you're living in. And you measure it according to the words of the scriptures, and we can see that we're in that time. We're in the time where Esau is about to come down with great wrath. Uh, uh, Revelation 12 and 12, all right, because he knows that he has but a short time. So, uh, the pretty much the men of the Lord, you know, the, those that the Lord has given the mysteries unto, all right, the elect and the one third, all right, we know what time it is because, all right, we we don't know the exact time, but we know we're living in that season. All right. You can you watch. Yeah, in that vicinity. Mm hmm Yep. But, Perfect. Uh, in that vicinity. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they yep. shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Oh, yep. So and you want to hearken on that? Oh, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Huh? So, you know, our, after that little uh, government shutdown, you know, they're pretty much like, oh, peace and safety, you know. And uh, after the, that drill, you know, in L.A., they're like, you know, oh, hey, that's, that, was, that was just a drill, you know. They're like, okay, peace and safety, back to, back to normal, you know. And they uh, got pretty much got that sigh of relief. But <clears throat> like it says, uh, then sudden destruction, you know. The uh, the Lord's going to come as a thief in the night to him, you know, and and he's going to put all these plagues and all these different uh different atrocities, you know, and and 
it's going to come sudden like a snap of a finger hey just like that uh drill and they're they're going to uh hey like i said they're not going to be able to escape mm -hmm. yep because these people is, don't... my bad oh go ahead I... That's what I was say, now is now is the time, you know. Yep, I right, time to wake out of sleep. You know, which two thirds ain't gonna wake up. That's why they're gonna get consumed. You know, in uh, in these plagues, you know, uh, the sword, Jacob's trouble, RF, you know, they're gonna get the RFID microchip, which is indeed the mark of the beast. Are they just gonna be completely consumed in 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 death? Why? Because they're not preparing now. They're not. Seeking Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Why? Because they don't see the pending judgment. All right? And uh, the scripture say through the, the, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, roughly paraphrasing, they don't see the terror of the Lord. All right? And uh, the scriptures say that uh, Proverbs 1 and 7, it says the, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. All right, the Lord has his men out there set up on the highways and hedges to prophesy the chief place of concourse, and you niggas take it for a joke. You think this shit is a game, all right? You guys are fools, man. You despise wisdom and instruction, all right? So, therefore, you don't have the spirit of the Lord in you, all right? Therefore, you can't see the terrors that the Lord is about to bring upon you, man, all right, for, for your wickedness and the ways that you're living in, all right? For being uh, joined into this wicked kingdom, all right, where nothing but wickedness goes on in this, in this kingdom, all right, those should be indicators for you to go seek uh, uh, righteousness, man. Did you give me that? In um, it's in uh, you know, spirit. Hey, the spirit is, is hot right now. It's in Zephaniah, the second chapter, huh. where it says, "Seek meekness." Oh, the uh. Are ye meek of the earth? Mm-hmm. see. Uh, this is, uh, Zephaniah 2 and, uh, should I start and at three. the top? Oh, yeah, come on. There's, uh... Oh, yeah, but, uh, you can start at the top through the Spirit. Come on. There's, uh, Zephaniah 2 and 1... Gather yourselves together, yeah, gather yourselves together, yeah, gather together, O nation not desired. Yep, and that nation not desired is the nation of Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians. All right, we have been on the bottom of the pedestal. We have been thrown in slavery. All right, we have been taken advantage of. All right, we have been seized and ravished as a nation, as a people. All right, we're the nations not desired, all right? We're the only nations where we, we can't even uh, get our own businesses and and can't prosper. All, right? all of these nations round about us are, are prospering and doing good, all right? but they're capitalizing off of us, all right? the nation that's less desired. All right? So this is talking about us, you know, the so-called black, Latinos, Native Indians, which are the real Israelites. All right? The Lord says, gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O, o nation not desired. And how are we to gather together? All right, we are to gather together through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shinal Shar, which is which is closing up the breaches. All right, you can continue up. Before the decree bring forth, before the day as the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before yep. the day of the Lord's anger come upon you, seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. Uh, yep, and the meek. This is talking about Israel, all right? But only, we know that only uh, one-third of Israel is going to take heed to the, uh, to the warning that's being, that's being uh, warned, that's being, uh, you know, being declared, all right, by way of the Lord's uh, prophets, starting with the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone on down, all right? They're, they're blowing the trumpet, letting you know that that danger is coming, all right? But the only ones that are going to take heed to that trumpet, or which which is the truth, all right, are going to be the elect. All right, everybody else, that anger is going to come down. The Lord's anger is going to come down. All right, you can continue on. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. 
Seek righteousness, seek meekness, it may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Yep. So two-thirds of Israel are not trying to seek righteousness. They're not trying to seek meekness. Right, they're, they're concerned with strife and contention. And that's why they always want to argue over the, uh, the word, all right, which the word has been established already. All right, through the, the spirit of power, Yah, by Shema Osai, he has put his, his secrets in, in, in uh, the spirit. He, the Lord has laid his spirit upon the, the uh, elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Yet you want to have dudes that just found out that there was an Israelite yesterday and then want to come and hop on the comment board or they want to buck up on the highways and hedges and be like, oh, well, or, uh, 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 the 12 tribes are Negroes only, you know. They want to come up with some sort of wayward doctrine and try to combat what's already been established, all right? So that's why you, you are not in the spirit of trying to um, seek understanding because there's millions of videos out there on YouTube. There's millions of, of you know, videos and edifying videos of Great Millstone that actually go into the words, the root words, are right, they go into the history? Are right, they bring out things through the spirit? All right, and they make it plain upon table. And and yet, you know, uh, two thirds of Israel, they're not trying to uh, hear that. All right, they just want to. They just want to. They see this thing as an entertainment, and then they want to uh, have. They just want to be an opposing side because they think it's a game. But really, you're you're kicking against the pricks. You're going up against Yahab by Shemal Shai, and that's the reason why the Lord. Is going to destroy you niggas, man, and kill you niggas death by pain. All right, because this is not a joke, man. This is deadly serious. All right, but the, we know that Zephaniah 2 and 3, only a, a small remnant is going to take heed to that. Could you read that again, Bobby Deshaw? Come on. It's like, uh, I had dropped out. I'm going to bring it back. It's uh, Zephaniah 2 and 3. Seek ye the Lord all ye meek of the earth which have wrought his judgment seek righteousness seek meekness it may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger yep it may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger alright hid being protected from the plagues that are about to hit man our pestilence famine our uh, water of hearing the word, all right, and also a, a, a famine of, of, of food, all right, and also uh, our, the RFID chip being hit from taking the chip, which is going to lead to your, your destruction if you take it, all right, being hit from uh, the, the FEMA camps and the martial law troops, all right, why? Because the elect are going to have the true, the true understanding of Yahweh Shemal Shai, of the Creator are the true understanding of the Bible and the mystery. They're going to have the prophecies. They're going to have the faith, right, which is a gift from Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Did you have anything? I Go on. And they go going to have that knowledge. To, uh, like it says, the knowledge mm -hmm. and wisdom should be the stability of thy time. They're going to have that stability. Yep. To know, like, uh, like, like, uh, like these people who were um, tripping off of that, that uh the drill you know the uh brothers in l a they they uh they already know like okay uh they already know that uh, a martial law is gonna come you know so they they already gonna be stable in their mind mhm mm beautiful but yet two thirds they they stuck on the twelve tribes chart <laughs> <laughs> they ain't even hey man the Lord gonna kill these niggas man they they still worried about, uh, you know, uh, oh, is, it, is it lawful uh, to shave your beard? Or is it, oh, oh, so oh, we got to stop eating pork? They, they trying to find scriptures to try to go around so they can still eat pork and do all these other things, man. All right, yet that's why they, that's why the, the apostles, you know, put out the, uh, the the decree, man, to not even deal with these people, man. All right, if they can't get it, all right, block them and keep it moving, you know. So they going back and forth. We too late in the game, man. The truth is out there. You can be edified. You can be. You can be. You can. You can uh, get the uh, the full breakdown, all right, of the scriptures. Yet you choose not to. Are you? Your priorities is all jacked up. So therefore, the Lord is going to destroy you, man. Do you have any other precepts? 
Oh, and I was gonna say, uh, the, yeah, the precept the apostle pulled out, you know, it, it pretty much said, uh, I think it was Isaiah 11 and 2. He said, uh, basically the the elect, you know, they're gonna they're gonna know. Uh, it's not gonna take them too much time to understand that that okay, it is oh, yeah. the truth. And then them uh, <clears throat> the two thirds, they're uh, they're gonna they're gonna be the ones uh, beating around the bush, like like I said, uh, trying to get around something like that. The the beard and, and lineups and pork. Like uh, the scriptures say, my laws are not uh, grievous. You know that's that right there. That's is uh, it's simple. You know that's that's real simple to do. You know. Mhm. Ah yeah, man. Hey, the water y'all by smell side. That he important. You know us with the, the the knowledge. Like you said, like you just said that the apostle said, it's not gonna take the elect long to get the truth. You know, they, they, they're they going to hear the spirit of Yahweh from outside. And they're going to hear the word. And then it's, it's instantly going to uh, make sense to them. As for two-thirds of Israel, it's gonna, they're going to constantly be stumbling over stumbling blocks, you know? God, that's right, and that, to me that I'll angel ahead. is blocking them. Yep, that angel, ultimately. The Lord is blocking their understanding, you know, by way of the angel, that they can't get it. You know, and therefore they're not going to be able to see the bigger picture. They're not going to be able to see Jacob's trouble hit, you know, out of nowhere. All right, they're not going to, like the scriptures say back in Second Thessalonians, verse five. Did we ever finish that one off? Oh, uh, yeah, we, we we actually did. Spirit might want to go into it again. Uh, All right. There's a uh, First Thessalonians five oh, and, first Thessalonians. and three for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. Yep. When they shall say peace and safety, yeah, that's the spirit we did go through it, you know, but the spirit wanted to come out again. So when they shall say peace and safety, all right, because you know, they're, they're not, you know, two-thirds of Israel, they're not going to want to accept the truth until, you know, they got a gun pointed to their head. Or, or when they see, you know, little Jim Jim down the street, little uh, uh, Uncle Junebug down the street get his head blown off. And then they want to try to run to the prophets, but it's going to be too late, man. You know? Fine. Until it, uh, it don't affect them until it hits, hits their, uh, their near uh, community. Mm -hmm. Their everyday life. Yep. Did Jake have any more precepts? Oh, that that's pretty much all I was holding. Was hey, that was, the spirit, hey, that's, that's all I had. Oh, come. We might just want to close out. Any any, any closing words, I? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, if you, uh, if you are, if you are, you know, uh, paying attention to, to Great Millstone, you know, you getting these teachings and like you understanding this word, you know, hey, uh time is uh time is short, you know, time is nigh, you know, don't wait for uh martial law basically to hit a, a so called drill to hit your area, you know, before you uh try and make it out to like a camp or something, you know. Mm hmm Do it now. Do it now. Get up out get up out drop what you're doing. All right. And go follow Yahweh by Shemal Shai, man. Get, go down to one of the churches that the Lord has has set up in the spirit because in the last days, man. All right, that's the spirit because I'm looking on my uh, on the stove because I'm in the kitchen. And the stove, the time is not the correct time. All right? It's two minutes fast. So it says 144. So that's the spirit. Mm. You know? It says 144. Mm. But, you know, right now... It, yeah, that's beautiful, your part. But you got to get down. If you're listening to the videos, all right, you follow Great Millstone, and, and, the, and the Lord allows you to understand and believe upon his word, you need to get down to a camp because your life depends on it, man. The scriptures say, make no carrying to turn to the Lord, all right? And there's certain things through the spirit that, that, that comes out that don't always, they don't always come out on camera, man, all right? There's certain things in the spirit, you know, that can be applied to your personal situation, 
right, but it ain't gonna be brought out upon a camera, man. You need to get down to where the spirit is, and that's you know, uh, if you uh, if you got there's a camp in your area, you need to make sure you you put in the effort to go to that camp, man. Or if you, if, a, if the camp is like an hour away from you, get down to the camp, man. If the, if the camp is two hours away from you, man, all right, get down to the camp, man, all right. And the spirit, the spirit of Yahweh outside is gonna be pleased with that, you know. So that's all I have to say. I, Oh. Right, so we should we close it out? Yeah, that's that's the spirit. That's that's all I had too. All right, so we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhat Kadash. The double honor to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone who taught us this truth and who well. And peace and salutations to the Akim and the hopefully elect that believes upon his word and that's pushing his truth and sincerity and honesty so the elect can be sealed. I want to say a, a, a peace and salutations unto you, Shalom. Shalom.